Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, teacher. Josue, my friend, good to see you. Good to see you too, teacher. Hello, hello. Sorry about that. I think there was a there was a there was an error with the link. I think I think we have been able to fix it. Hello, everybody. Uh, let me see that the people that I see on here: Alexander, Ricardo, Angelica, Ninive, Kevin, Henry, Diana, Delmi. Hello and welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Hello. Good evening. My name is Roberto Martinez. You guys can call me Master, ¿verdad? Humilde, humilde yo. Uh, you guys can call me Robert. You guys can say Roberto. You guys can say teacher. Um, anything that you guys feel that you need to call me, you can. Um, solo que no sea tan malo, ¿verdad? Uh, sí. Si me cortara la barba, me pareciera no a Anaí Bukele, sino que al hermano. Así que ya está tomada en cuenta eso también. Así que you guys can also mention something about that. Um, I don't think I look like uh, Nayik, but, but some people do tell me and they scream at me on the streets. Bah. So that, that can also happen. Welcome, everybody. Luis, is that Luis Enrique, my friend? Luis Enrique, tan, 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 de la novela? No. Yes. Is that you, my friend? Raf, Rafael Monge. Ah, oh, Harry, how you doing? How you doing? So for the rest of the class, I've, I've had, Lisette, hello. I've had the privilege of being a teacher for Rafael. I think Luis Enrique, I think. I think that's the same Luis Enrique for Josue before. And, and that's why I'm, you know, I'm a little bit more excited when I say hello to them. It's, it's, you know, it's a big, it's a nice surprise. Hello, hello, Delmi. Hello, good, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Welcome everybody. Welcome to Advance. English. Let's see if everybody needs to get set up real quick. All right. Hello, hello. Kevin Enrique, is that the same as Luis Enrique? Yeah, it is. No, no, it's not, it's not, it's a different one, right? Kevin, welcome, Kevin, welcome. All right, good to see everybody here. Welcome aboard, welcome to class, welcome to Advanced English Module One. How do you guys feel? How is everybody feeling tonight? It's Monday. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Excited, tired, it's okay. It's okay to be tired. I feel you guys. Nervous, no, don't be nervous. Don't be nervous, Diana. You're gonna have a lots of fun and you're gonna learn and we're gonna practice. So we should be okay. Okay, yeah, there we go. Welcome aboard, there's about three of the advanced classes. So this is the first one that you guys will visit. Um, because it is an advanced level, we do a little bit more talking than in your previous classes. We try, we try to talk as much as possible. Uh, we want to make sure that we give you guys the correct exercises and we want to help out with making your conversations better. 
right? All around conversation, which means pronunciation, enunciation, you know, the flow, a little bit of rhythm, and see how that works out at the end. All right, so once again, my name is Roberto Martinez. Um, I've been involved with teaching English for quite some time. Um, I've actually been doing it for about 15 years. Now, I didn't do it in an academy until recently. Before coming into the, uh, into the academy and teaching English through an academy, I actually did it through a call center. Uh, it's called Concentrix. And I worked there for 15 years, or I should say Converges. It used to be called Stream before that, and it was called Dell before that. So Dell, Stream, Converges, Concentrics, they're all the same. And I was there through the whole, you know, the whole ordeal of changing over. And what I did is I actually taught conversation in something that is called um, culture and communication. Culture and communication. And my goal was to help everybody that came in in their conversational skills to become more fluent to learn how to choose the correct words, to formulate the correct sentence structure, and of course, the pronunciation of the words that you choose. Now, that has nothing to do with accent. My job had nothing to do with working accents out. Your accent is beautiful. If you have an accent, congratulations, right? It's really hard to maintain an accent. Um, I like to use, uh, for reference, las personas que son de la India, right? Even though they have been taught English their whole life, they never lose their accent because it's, it's a part of what they are and it's a part of who they are. And so they never want to lose that. And I would like to kind of reinforce that with you guys. If you have an accent, don't be afraid. Don't be, you know, ashamed. Don't say, oh my God, I'm going to sound all weird because of my accent. No, 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 no. You're supposed to have an accent. You, you are bilingual, you know? Now it would be kind of weird if you have an accent in Spanish, right? Because Spanish is your, your mother tongue. And so when those cases arise, then you could say, okay, you know, I feel kind of weird but it's okay to have an accent. And so we're going to practice and we're going to make sure that when you use your words, you pronounce those correctly. Uh, we don't focus on losing accents. That's not going to happen, right? What we do is we create fluency with what we have and it's okay. It's okay, right? All right. The more you practice, the better you get and the better you get, the better you sound. So keep that in mind. All right. Um, so until recently, uh, we started teaching English in an actual academy. Uh, I really, really like it. Uh, for those of you who have had me before as a teacher, uh, I really enjoy it. Uh, I like to have fun. I like to have as much conversations as possible. The hour that we spend together, sometimes it doesn't feel like an hour. It feels like it just kind of flies away. And I think that has to do with everything that we do and how much fun we have. So hopefully we keep that going. All right, so on this, our first day, because it is our first day, I am going to ask you to please try to keep your camera on when you are introducing yourself, okay? And then once you stop introducing yourself, that's okay, you can let go, all right? You can let it go, you, we, don't have to, we don't have to see you throughout the video, but if you wanna leave it on, it's still okay. Now, La academia sí les va a pedir 
to show your faces from time to time. And it, it has to do with, you know, are you coming to class? Are you following up on, 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 on the modules? Um, are you showing up to follow up? And then, so based on that, we ask you to kind of show, show up. But I do know that it has, you know, some issues with uh, the audio and the video. So, uh, so what happens when, is that Maricela? Maricela, hello. Oh my God, we're over here. Okay, Maricela was also in my next class. Sorry, sorry about that. Hello, sorry, Maricela. how are you? Todo excited. Good to, El see teacher. You. Good to see you too, Maricela. Ah, Good to see you too. Me too. <laughs> Maricela, we have a whole, we, well, we have a couple of, uh, of classmates too in the class. So, ojo, 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 aquí estamos. All right. Um, so, like I was telling you guys, asking you to, uh, for the, you know, for this portion, at least have the, have the cameras turned on. If, if it creates too much problems with having the video and the audio, you can turn off the video and then just leave the audio. All right. That's okay. That's no problem. All right. So real quick. Quick introduction. You guys know my name, Roberto Martinez. Hello, 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 hello. Been working uh, as a teacher uh, for a really long time. Really excited. Really excited to be here. Um, I really like it. I was telling everybody that I really like doing what I do. And so I think you're going to be able to tell by, uh, I hope, right? I hope that you guys never see me like in a bad mood or, or depressed or, or without any energy. Um, I try not to, to be that way because I really enjoy being here. So it, it's always, it's always a lot of fun. All right. So real quick introductions. We want to know your name. Um, we want to know your work history. Uh, if you are not working, we want to know about your last job you had, right? Just is just real quick. Um, we want to know where are you from? Where are you from? Okay. We want to know how long have you been studying or practicing English? So how long have you been practicing English? There you go. And if you want to share anything else, like age is optional, right? Also, your marital status is optional. You don't have to bring it up if you don't want to, but if you want to bring it up, you can. All right, all right, so let's get started. Let me see. I'll go first. I, I did, you know, I did a little bit. I talked to you guys a little bit about it. Let me go ahead and, and complete that. Um, my name, Roberto Martinez. My name is Roberto Martinez. You guys can call me Robert, teacher, Don Martinez, Master Martinez. It, it's really, really optional, right? It's up to you. Uh, my work history, I've been uh, teaching for the past 15 years, uh, even though it has been the last, last 15 that I've been doing it in a call center environment. And it wasn't until recently that I started doing with uh, English Academy. I am originally from San Salvador. However, I live in Apopa now, Apopa City, Ooh, in the house. It's so hot here, guys. You guys, I, I don't know. Um, I feel like I'm in San Miguel. So if anybody here from San Miguel, I feel you. I feel you. All right, there we go, Angelica. Um, I have been practicing English for a really, really long time. And, and let me tell you that it started out with me going to a small academy. And from the academy, I started working in call centers. And the more I worked in the call center environment, the more I learned and all of my friends only speak English. So I think that having my friends that spoke only English really helped out with my uh, fluency, uh, with my pronunciation, and with my conversational skills. Um, pretty much everybody that I knew only spoke English. It was actually really weird to hear somebody speak Spanish, but it also had to do with, with you know, my surrounding. Um, I'm gonna leave my age as a, as a blank 
because I stopped celebrating a long time ago. Uh, I think as soon as I turned 30, it, it, it's kind of weird, right? Because when you're really young, you always say that you're a little bit older. So when I was 16, I used to tell everybody I was 18. Um, when I was 18, I used to tell everybody I was 21. And then now that I turn, you know, over 30, I, I'd rather not say, I'd rather not say. Um, marital status, I have a wife and I have, uh, let me see, hold on, let me see how many kids I have. I have, oh my goodness. I have three beautiful kids. And so, yeah, I'm gonna get killed for that one. But, but I want you guys to know that you kind of lose track after a couple of them, right? And so that is a little bit about me. Who would like to go next? Volunteers. Volunteers, no, no, I'm gonna, democraticamente. Ooh, oh, there we go, Lisette, thank you so much. Lisette, please. And Ricardo can go next. Yes, of course. A ver, Lisette. Good evening. Hi. Hello, everybody. Hi. You can hear me? We can hear you. Yes. Okay. Uh, my name is Lisette Padilla. Uh, everybody call me Liz or Lisette, but it's okay. I am from La Herradura, near of La Costa del Sol, in the Department of La Paz. I am a doctor. I work as a doctor too, but uh, I don't have children. I am not married. And I am practicing English about two years old. Two okay. years. Two, okay, all right. Well, nice and welcome. Do doctora, verdad? Mire, me siento, me siento mal, doctora. Now we have. <laughs> now no, I you look very very nice <laughs> right right now we can now we have a friend that's a doctor oh i always dreamed of that yes <laughs> all right all right thank you very much lisa i have ricardo ricardo we can't hear you ricardo we lost you mute We almost had you. Can't hear you, Ricardo. We lost you, we lost you. Now? Yeah, there, there we go, yeah, we got you. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, uh, good evening, my name is Ricardo Alfredo Lopez Miranda. I'm 24 years old and I am from San Salvador, currently living there as well. Well, my last work wasn't paid, but I teach at, at uh, the University of El Salvador. Uh, and I was imparting the course of uh, Introduction to Economics and um, some other courses like that. And I have been practicing English since I was around five years old. And I've been trying to improve it ever since. Okay. All right. All right. That'll totally work. Thank you very much, Ricardo. Let me see who do we have. We have Alexander. Alexander Pineda. Hi there. Good evening. My name is Alexander Pineda. Um, I'm 24 years old. Uh, I've, I've been working in a travel agency for about uh, three years. Uh, but I've been working in other areas, like in a hotel or also like a tourist guide. At the same time, um, I've been practicing English for around five years. Uh, and just that, I guess. All right. Nice. Thank you very much, Alexander. Thank you very much. Who do, who do we have that can go next? Who do we have? Who do we have? Democraticamente. Mm, tun, 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 tun. A ver, we're going to start from the very top. Josue, you appear at the very top of my screen, so I'm going to choose you, Josue. Okay. Uh, Good evening, everyone. My name is Josue David Perez Mejibar. I live in Ciudad de Libertad. I am 27 years old. I got a bachelor degree in marketing two years ago. Uh, about my Work experience, I have been working as a salesman for more than three years, 
also I have been working as a community manager. And now I'm going to start a work in a call center, specifically in one link next week. And I have been practicing English for a long time, probably five years. And I like to improve my English for myself. I like to watch some videos about different type of videos like grammar, pronunciation, and it's difficult sometimes, but if you put everything, you can improve. And, and now I have a couple, I have a girlfriend. We have one year together and that's me. All right, all right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Josue. A ver, Delmi. Hello, good evening. I'm Delmi Ranzo, I'm 29 years old. I am from Metapan, but I live in Santa Ana sometimes. I am a student, so my, my last career was a technician at Eat Cafe Pade in Santa Ana, and now I am a student of the University of El Salvador. I am studying languages, and I have been studying English for almost five years, but I like language, so I need to improve my English, and then I will learn some new language like French. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Oh my goodness. Are you guys still here? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yes. I'm so sorry yes. about that. I'm so sorry about that. Tell me. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Uh, let me see. It kind of moved around a little bit, but I have, let me see. Nineveh. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Nineveh. Good night. Um... Good night, everybody. My name is Nini Hernandez. I work in the Cameron Hotel. I work since 2009, around 11 years. Um, I practice English at the same time, but in my work only send emails. Don't, don't talk too much English. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I am separate and have two boys. <laughs> all right, all right. Ahora sí, ya, 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 ya tenemos el conecto ahí en el Cameron de para la clase y todos allá. Van. All right. All right. <laughs> the next person that came up that moved up, uh, Henry. Hi, can you hear me? We can hear you. Okay. Good evening. My name is Henry Andino. Uh, you can call me Henry. Uh, I'm working. I'm working in software development and project management for a long time ago, almost 25 years. Um, I'm 49 years old. I'm married since nine years ago. Happily married, by the way. I've been practicing English uh, almost for a long time, but not talking. Uh, just reading technical documents and. This is the reason uh, why I'm uh, practicing with you tonight. Nice. Uh, this is my first time in English, in, in Inglés Corporativo. Nice. Nice to have you on board. Henry, let me tell you that you do not look a day over 50. Okay. Thank you. You, you look <laughs> you look fresh. 60. <laughs> yeah, there we go, right? You don't, you don't look. You look young. You look young. Parece vampiro, Henry. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Next, next one that moved around, I have Diana. <laughs> Let... You can hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you. Okay. Hi. My Hi. name is Diana Arias. I'm 24 years old. I am studying, I'm, I'm in my last year of chemistry and pharmacy. And I have been practicing English since I was nine years old, but then I stopped when I was like 18 years old, and now I start again. Um, 
I'm single. Um, and I like to read. I like to listen to music. And that's all. All right. All right. Well, welcome aboard, Diana. Welcome aboard. Let me see. We have, we're following it up. Uh, Maricela. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm going to check the question. My name is Maricela Oviedo. I'm a lawyer and I have my own law firm um, since 2012. Mm -hmm. um, I work with another firm, Guatemalan firm, since uh, the same period. I wor uh, worked with uh, labs here in El Salvador. So I, I work in propriet intellectual propriety, right? So, um, and I have tried to learn English forever <laughs> and it was so difficult to me. I can read, I can read it and I can hear, hear it, but I can speak. Um, you can see that. <laughs> so, but I try and I try and I try and someday I, I, I gonna speak English, right? <laughs> so, um, um, age, I'm 38 years old and I'm, I'm, I have a husband since 11 years. Oh, okay. Yes. That's it. You made it. You made it, Maricela. Después de los and siete, dice. Oh. And, and they have an accent like Sofia Vergara. <laughs> there we go. And it's and so, it's a beautiful accent. It's beautiful. <laughs> Poderoso. Yeah. What about seven years? Sorry. Uh, well, with the marriage, once you get past seven uh, yes. years, it's downhill from that, Maricela. You got it. You made it. I still I I'm still happy. There we go. There we go. That 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 will always work. All right, uh, we have Luis Enrique. Thank you, Maricela. Luis Enrique, I confused you with another with another student we I had. His name was also Luis Enrique. Solo el majano le faltó, verdad? Pero welcome aboard, Luis. A ver, pase adelante, por favor. Hello, teacher. It's good to see you again. There, I knew good it. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. Uh, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good to see you again, too. Um, my name is Luis Enrique Mahano. Um, I'm 60 years old and just got on, on January this year. Um, about my work history, I have been working for a bank uh, the last 20 years. Yeah. Uh, the last job that I have it was in a Banco Haiti Continental El Salvador. And two years ago, I, I, I have my own business right now. Uh, and about my marital, marital status, I am separate. Uh, I had two children, uh, a boy and a, and a girl. And I have been practicing English the last five years. All right, all right. Once again, welcome. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. Kevin. Kevin, it's you, Kevin. You were at the very bottom and it's been moving around. And now you're like right there, Kevin. Pase adelante, Kevin. Kevin Enrique. Uh, okay. Um, my name is Kevin Enrique. And you can call me Kevin or Enrique. Both All right. are correct. Um, what are the other questions? I don't know. Let me see. It says, um, work history. I have never worked before. I okay. didn't even have a job. Uh, I'm from San Salvador. Uh, I have been practicing English 
uh, for three years. Uh, I'm 18 years old and I'm single. All right. That's all. <laughs> there we go. There we go, Kevin. Well, welcome to class, sir. And hopefully, right, hopefully, you know, you either start off in school or get into a job and then you come and you're, you're going to see how these faces get formed. You know, they go from the way you look very happy and relaxed to the way we look, you know, very not so relaxed, even though we have a lot of money, Kevin. That's that's what happens. That's what happens. So welcome. Welcome to class. All right. Thank you for that. All right, we have Angelica. Hi. Hi, hello. Hello. Well, my name is Angelica. I'm 19 years old and I'm studying architecture at the University of El Salvador. I work as a math teacher sometimes. And what else? That's it. That's it? Are you, let me see. How long or, how, yeah, how long have you been practicing English? Oh, I have been practicing English for about one year and a half. One year, okay. All right. And where are you from? Did you say, you um, said San Salvador, right? I'm sorry. I'm from El Salvador, San Miguel. Oh, San Miguel. Okay, it's yes. hot. It's hot. There we go. That's how we know. Yeah, um, I think you shared your age and marital status, if, if you want to share it. I'm single. Single. All right. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let me see. So we have uh, Rafa. Rafa, can you hear me? Oh, yeah. We can. We. It sounds very choppy. Choppy, Rafa. It cuts off. Cut it out. Oh my, no, Ralph, we can't hear you. It sounds really, really cut. <laughs> it sounds like, yeah. Hold on, hold on, Ralph. Let me see. Let, let's let's switch over. Ricardo, Ricardo Alfredo. Yes. Yeah, I think it, hold on, hold on to that, Raf. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, it has a little bit. Hang tight, Rafael, hang tight. All right, Ricardo, have you passed by? Did you go already? Did you introduce yourself? Yes, already. It was around the second, I think. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Okay. Remember, I told you everything kind of switched around. All right. Jose, Jose Roberto. Have you. Have you introduced yourself, my friend? Uh, not yet. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, good evening to everyone. Well, my name is, uh, you, can you say, is uh, Roberto. Well, I'm from San Vicente, and right now I'm studying in the University Catholic of El Salvador. And I have been working uh, like uh, such a one month in constructions. And I like uh, many things, uh, and also I'm a basketball player. Oh. And I think that, that is that is all I can tell you. All right. Well, you know what? I'm I'm really tall, Jose Roberto. Um, yeah. Luis Enrique, my friend, looks very tall as well. I think we can make a quick game. I hope so. I, I think we can put a little team together. Uh, clase numero uno. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, three. <laughs> All right. Three will be okay. Right, right. Three on three. We can get it. We can get a game going. All right. All right. Well, welcome everybody. Did I miss anybody? Has anybody missed besides Rafael? And I'm sorry about Rafael. Rafael had some network issues. Did anybody have? Everybody went? Yeah, everybody passed, right? Okay, all right. So for this particular class, we're gonna start it off a little bit different than what you guys are accustomed to. Well, maybe not. There's a couple of us who do this. Uh, let me go ahead and show you. And 
I'm going to share my whole screen so you guys can see it. And now, oh, let me see here. Hold on, let me see. I had to share it differently. I had to share it with the sound on. There we go. All right, here we go, here we go. And these are what we're gonna start off with. Some fantastic tongue twisters. And tell me if you guys have already seen these before. There's a few that you know you constantly you see, and like in every other class, they usually have the same ones. Have you guys ever heard of this tongue twister? No. Woodchuck? No, no. How much would no a wood? Teacher. All right, all right. Let me see. Let me see. So, so what you're supposed to do is you have to read it as best as possible. You know, trying to to keep in mind what the words are. And so, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Right? He would chuck. He, well, yeah, he would chuck. He would as much as he could and chuck as much wood as a woodchuck would if a woodchuck could chuck wood. So the idea is for you guys to do it faster and faster and faster. Now, there's a couple there's a couple here that I have that we can that we can that we can practice on. Some of them are a little bit easier than others, right? For example, this one, this one, uh, to tell you the truth, I, I haven't seen it used that often. A flea and a fly flew up in a flu. Said the flea, let us fly. Said the fly, let us flee. So they flew through a flaw in the flu. That one's easy, right? It was, oh my God, you guys could do that one. It's so easy. It's easy, so easy. It's so right. easy, it's so easy. There's, a, there's, there's some that are a little bit harder. Like this one, cheese trees. Through three cheese trees, <laughs> it's, it's even <laughs> hard for me. Uh, through three, three cheese, cheese trees, trees, three free fleas flew. It's pretty hard, right? The idea yeah. is, the idea is that the more you practice, the better you get with these. And so <laughs> each of them have something specific that you work on. All right. So for ex for example, when we talk about this one that says woodchuck, well, there's a couple of things that we work on. For example, the CH sound, right? Um, the W sound, the D sound. And so once you start to read, you start to hear it a little bit more. Uh, I, I want to say that it stands out, right? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck? And so the CH sound for us, it's a little bit hard. It's always one of the hardest things. Um, it's, for example, when you guys are saying, um, when, you, when we say uh, shoes versus choose, right? And so this is one of those words that, that really takes some time to get used to, but the more that we practice, the better the better we get at and the better we sound. Now, who would like to practice and see if they can do it a little bit faster than what I did? Who can do it the fastest, I would say? Who wants to volunteer? I will. There we go, there we go. Is that Jose Roberto? Yeah. Let's do it, Jose Roberto, let's do it. Okay, how much wood will you have? I would shoot, shoot, if I would shoot, could shoot wood. He will shoot. He he will as much as he could, and shoot as much wood, and a wood shoot wood. If I would shoot could shoot wood. All right, good. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's pretty tough, right? So yeah, it is. So this one, the sound is chuck. Oh, nice. Chuck, chuck. chuck. So uh, I'm gonna say that it sounds like there's a like like there's an A in there. Chuck, right? Except it's not so pronounced. So Chuck, Chuck, los nunchucks. ¿Se acuerdan ustedes de los de los nunchucks, los de Bruce Lee? No, Bruce Lee, anybody? Huh? Nunchucks, right? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck 
could chuck wood. Chuck significa tirar. So when you chuck something away, you're throwing something. So think of it that way, right? He would chuck, he would as much as he could and chuck as much wood as a woodchuck would if a woodchuck could chuck wood. <laughs> All right, who wants to try faster, faster? Who, the idea is to do it faster, 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 teacher, faster. A ver, anybody else? Thank you for that, Jose Roberto. What? Democraticamente, del me. Del me, del me quiere, del me. Oh, Diana. All right, there you go. That, a ver, le ganaron del me. A ver, Diana. A ver, let's try I'm it out. I'm going to do my best. Let's do it, let's do it. How much would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck good? He will chuck, he will as much as he could, and chuck as much good as would chuck cool if we chuck, if we chuck cool chuck good. That's pretty fast, Diana. That's pretty no. good. That yeah, it was it was all right. It was all right. It was better than my slow, you know. <laughs> I was doing all slow. All right, all right. Who else wants to try? Who else wants to try? Or do you guys want to try the, any different one? Uh, let me show you the ones that I have. I have the woodchuck. I have the skunk on a stump. A skunk sat on a stump and thunk the stump stunk. But the stump thunk, the skank, the skunk stunk. Oh my goodness, that one was hard. That one was hard. You guys want to try this one? Who wants to try this one? I will give it a try. Let's give it a try. That's all. That's all we ask, Ricardo. Let's go. Let's do it. Try it. Okay. A skunk sat on a stump and thunk the stump stunk. But the stump thunk, the skunk stunk. <laughs> there we go. All right. Something so, like that. Okay. So now, why are we doing this one? Well, the TH sound. Thank you. Th th thank you. This one is really hard for us as well. Right? So we have the CH sound and we have the TH sounds that uh, in general for us uh, in El Salvador, no, no creo que solo sea en El Salvador, but I think for Spanish speaking people, it's really hard to get rid of, right? The TH, how do we get the TH to work? Uh, this is, uh, I think it's a, it's a fantastic tongue twister to get that one on board. Anybody else want to try it? A skunk. Volunteers? Volunteers, no? All right, there's there's the cheese trees. This one is, is, is a different level, huh? It's otro nivel. Who wants to try this one? Anybody want to try this one? Give it a shot. I will give it a shot as well. <laughs> oh, let's do it, Ricardo. Let's do it, yeah. Let's try it out. Okay. Through three cheese trees, three free fleas flew. What this fleas flew, free fleas blue. Freeze breeze made his tree trees freeze. Freezy trees made his trees cheese freeze. That's what made his three flea fleas a sneeze. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Ricardo. Had you done that one before, Ricardo? No, but no, I was trying time? to remember that okay. TH sounds like C. All right. Okay. All right. Well, this one here focuses, actually, this one focuses on the Z on the Z, because for us also the Z sound, right? The, how do we, how do we say freezy? How do we say freeze? It, it also, it becomes a little bit of a challenge for us, right? Even though it should be easy, it, it's really not. So freeze, right? And then the F sound as well, free and fleece. All right, uh, there's another one. I think you guys have seen this one before. Betty bought some butter but the butter was bitter. So Betty bought some better butter to make the bitter butter better. How many guys, how many guys have heard this one before? I've heard this one a few times. No, no? Who would like to try it? This one's actually pretty easy. Well, I, it wasn't that easy, right? I was going all slow. Diana, yeah, yeah, <laughs> let's try it out. I mean. Mm. Betty bought some butter, but the butter was bitter. So Betty bought some better butter to make the bitter butter better. Yeah, <laughs> we go, Diana. That was good. That was good. Yeah. So this one, this one, right? The B, the B, the B, the B sound. Betty, 
Betty Bot. Now, for us, sometimes this one here is a little bit rough, right? It's really hard for us to pronounce it. Bot, right? Betty bought some butter. And then so it really works on the B and the B sound. And how you're supposed to kind of flip your lips in, right? For the B to sound out correctly. And so these are the tongue twisters that we're going to practice. And the idea is that every time when we come into class, we're going to practice one of these until we get really, really good, right? As you guys can see, they're, they're not that easy. Uh, even though they might seem like they are, once you start to practice, they become a little bit harder and harder. And so uh, I, I got a little bit rusty with these. I used to be really, really good and I got a little bit rusty, but now that we're gonna have it in class and I think we're gonna practice a little bit more, I'm gonna get a little bit better. Better because the butter is so much bitter when it's better, <laughs> but a bit of butter. Oh my goodness. All right, and then I'm gonna get you guys some more tongue twisters. There are some really easy ones, right? Uh, there's some really short ones that are considered tongue twisters. Uh, they're only like one phrase long, but they really get you working your tongue and your lips out. So mm, that's what we want to do, right? We want to work that out. Uh, for those of you who did not volunteer this time around, uh, please feel free to volunteer. Remember, we're a class. Remember, we're teammates. We're classmates. We're family. Uh, en muy poco tiempo nos vamos a casar todos y va a ser un familiongo super super bonito. Así es que, así es que, buxo con eso. No, así que es de No, 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 no. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen um this was your first day in class the first day is usually just a quick introduction um please remember that we still have our modules to complete um i like to bring these up because i i definitely want you guys to complete the modules to go through the sections um i want you guys to be able to get your certificates in time and i i definitely don't want anybody telling you guys that you guys are lagging behind or anything so uh, i will always kind of bring up those two things um our work environment which is our modules does everybody have access to Inglés Corporativo website. Did everybody get the access? And is everybody able to see him? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. And I think Henry, Henry, you mentioned that this is the first time with Inglés Corporativo. The classes, I want to tell you, you can come and you are welcome to join our class. I, I much appreciate that. If you ever cannot make it, don't worry about it. Right, because the most important here, uh, the most important piece is for you to complete the modules on the website. Uh, if you can make it to the class, that is a plus because we are able to practice a little bit more. But other than that, please keep in mind that the most important portion is the um, the website. And okay. so, con eso, ladies and gentlemen, creo que I'll give you guys four minutes back. I'll see you guys tomorrow for our first uh, regular class day. And hopefully you guys can practice some of these tongue twisters porque mañana vienen más. All right, all right. All right, everybody, nice meeting you and have a good night. Sure. Take good care, night. everybody. Good night. Take care. Good, good night. night. Good night, Teacher. take care. Teacher, I can, I, uh, can ask uh, a question. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, the thing is that this is my first time too, and okay. I I don't know the way that that you uh, were here, so I have I I have been working in the platform uh, to making some exercise. Okay. But the thing is that I don't know if I'm grown of the platform uh, doesn't um, uh, take me my answers correct because. Okay. I I have been following the the theory, okay, and, and it is said that is wrong. So I don't know uh, if you can give me a feedback about to to solve this or or how is the way to. to the that's ex uh, Jose. That's exactly how we work. Um, what we do is we work on the modules, 
And if you have any questions or if you need any explanation, I try to cover that. Um, most of the exercises are focused on the information that you see on the modules. And if you have any problems or any questions, in class is where we actually look at them. So you're, you're, that's, that's, you have it, that's the workflow. All right, uh, if you want, we can look at it real quick. If you have time, Jose, and if anybody wants to stay on board, you guys are welcome to stay and you guys can kind of give it a look. Uh, let me see here, let me, let, me, let me go here and let me share my screen again. Okay. All right, Jose, can you see my screen? Uh, yes, I can. Okay, so I started the course Inglés Corporativo, Inglés Avanzado Modulo Uno. And so originally when you come in, you're only gonna see your, you will only see the sections like this. Yeah. Okay. And how you access the information is you have to click on the very first one that appears. So you would have to open it up, go into it, and then the section will give you access to module 1.1. And then from there, you're gonna be able to move forward section, uh, I'm sorry, module by module, module 1.1, 1.2, et cetera, right? All the way up to 1.13 sometimes. Are you in section number one, Jose? Uh yeah, or did well, you move? Did you move forward? Did you move ahead of well, section one? Well, I moved to one point eight. One point eight. Okay, so let yeah. me go ahead and move but, there. Yeah. No, but wait, my 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 first problem was in the one point two. One point two. So let yeah. me go back to one point two. One. Uh, let me see. Here it is. This is the knowledge check. Okay. Okay, and the first one uh, it is the sample. Okay. And the second one is the first exercise. Well, based on the theory uh, that, that is the, let me see. Uh, what is the name of the topic? Uh, the, uh, the gerund in infinity, right? So- The gerund, okay. Uh, in, the, in the third exercise, it said, you, uh, Tina, you visit your parents on the weekends, don't you? Yes, I spent Sunday with them and to visit the rest of the week. In this case, it says, let's see, prefer the best option. Uh, I, I think that could be, to, let's see, prefer to visit her parents on weekends. Or, or not. It, it is not. Well, you would have to use, so, so this one specifically, you can either, either use the gerunds like you mentioned or the infinitive so you can either use having or 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 something like it or you can use the infinitive right of adding the two to have so in, in this particular case it would be like this you visit your parents on the weekends don't you and then lastly yes i spend sundays with them i'm too busy the rest of the week Leslie prefers to visit. Have you used it like this? Yeah, to visit. To visit her parents. Her parents on weekends. On, on so or it would be on weekends. Yeah, because you need to add the. And then did you add the dot? Now. Yeah. In my in my case, I uh, I I didn't use capital letter. Okay and neither uh, the period, so. Okay, so what we can try to do, let's try to do the period. It says that, you know what? It was saying that it already adds it for us, but it, I don't see it on here. Let's try it like this, to visit her parents, and then we'll see what comes up as an answer. The, the, this is the way that you put it, right? Uh, at first time, I didn't use the capital letter, neither the, the period, and it, and it did me wrong. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you see? To visit her parents. Okay, so now let's try. Leslie prefers visiting. Her parents. On weekends, right? Yeah. All right, and then the dot. All right, what else can we use? To visit it? No, it has to be. No, it, it is. It has to be to visit based on the theory. Is there a chance that it could be both? Because it says that you could use both. 
Let me try it out. Let's see. Let's work it out. What have you used so far, Joe? Teacher. Yes, ma'am. Maybe a spending. Spending. Uh, let me see. Spending because it's uh, Leslie spend to visit her parents. You know what? It's it's. I don't know. Can you put the, the screen, please? Yes. Yes. Let me go ahead and put it real quick. And teacher, I don't know if it is a mistake from the platform because if, I you, think in... if you write in the second exercise, going to Paris, it gives you okay. You know what? Look, so I switched it around. Well, no, it's, it's pretty much. So what I did Let... is I. Teacher, let's try the, the second one. So look at look at number three. Uh -huh. Leslie prefers uh -huh. to visit. So it's it, you're right. It's infinitive. Yeah, it's infinitive. All small to visit her parents of the weekend. Oh, because it's using off In the preposition. Right, right, because she doesn't go on the weekend. She goes off the weekend. Uh -huh. No, you know what? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I think this one it's it's supposed to be on the weekend because yeah, she visits it on Sunday, but it comes out wrong. Yeah, and there is an F oh. right there. No. Yeah. You know what, Joe? I, I that is a problem with it, it, it happened to the all of them. Yeah. Yeah. So let me do something. Let me let me escalate the issue to my IT department because it's not supposed to have oh. yeah. Also, visit. teacher, in the in the second in the second lesson, there is a an an a listening, and right there um, have some wrong answers too. Okay, so it would be one point two. Let me write it. Let me write it down. Let, I'm gonna put it in the chat. Give me one second. The WhatsApp. Let me see. And so the other one that have have done me say the one point one point five. One point two and. 1.5 yeah man oh that's hopefully we can get that fixed right away all right uh, besides that jose you got you got so remember this is not your fault this is actually um the website and the module that's off okay we'll try to get that fixed and then hopefully i can get you guys some screenshots another one the 1.8 1.8 1.8 yeah. That one was the last one that I did. Where and you I... have to rewrite the sentences. Okay, so let me go ahead and put that one on. So, so 1.8 also. Okay, and for everybody that's still on, we have a group in WhatsApp. We use that to also communicate between us and especially when we have issues like this, right? Because sometimes, like Jose, like Jose was saying, um, you know, I don't know if it's me. I don't know. I don't know if it was me with the problem or it's the module itself. In this particular case, it's the module. It's the website that's completely off. So let me go ahead and escalate that to my IT, and then hopefully they can fix it right away. Um, does anybody have any question about the modules besides what we have seen so far? Is everybody all right? Okay. Remember that we can stay on for a little bit longer if you guys need extra explanations or if you guys want to practice a little bit more. Um, I am free to do it. Uh, siempre y cuando no sean siete, ocho horas, ¿va? Si, si es un, un ratito, claro, claro, con mucho gusto. And so hopefully, hopefully we can stay like that. All right, everybody. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Good night. Take care, everybody. Take care. Good night.